The Yanko name has been synonymous with high-performance Chevrolets for over 50 years, and Don Yanko was a racer who knew that high-performance machines were a big draw at local dealerships, so he learned how to work the system at Chevrolet to deliver engine packages and options that were not offered in standard production cars. His Yanko Chevrolet dealer became a leader in selling factory-built muscle cars modified by his team, and today, we're looking at a few that survive in the Brothers Collection. We featured each of these cars in previous Muscle Car of the Week videos, but we thought it'd be fun to see them in context with each other. For our number five car, we head all the way back to episode number 12 and this stunning Island Teal 1968 Yanko 427 Camaro. 68 was the second year you could get a Yanko Camaro, and this one is the last one on the VIN list. You can see all the subtle details in episode 12. Next, we're heading to Muscle Car of the Week episode 199 to take a look at this stunning blue 1967 Yanko Camaro. This car still featured the high performance 427 and racing suspension parts, but this car was ordered to be more of a highway cruiser than a drag strip champion. While we normally associate the Yanko Camaro with the 450 horsepower 427 race engine, Yanko offered an alternative 427 that we see in this car. The difference is that it made 410 horsepower, but it used a hydraulic camshaft for better street manners. So instead of the 450 horsepower 427, this one only made 410, but it was still a lot hotter than the 375 horse 396 that Chevrolet offered in this Camaro. It features 308 gears in the 12 bolt rear and an automatic transmission, so it's really different among racier Yanko Camaros. And you can see the whole story on this car in episode number 199. Yanko is known for his Camaros, but he also worked his magic on Chevelles, Corvairs, and Novas, like this one from episode 150. The LT1 350 powered Yanko Deuce Novas didn't have quite the stones of the 427 Camaros, but they were lightweight with 360 horsepower, making them not only very capable at the strip, but because they were Novas, they were also easier on the wallet too. And this one has a racing background and was featured in our episode 150 of Muscle Car of the Week. The go fast recipe remained the same, so it was easy to apply to other cars in the Chevrolet line. So Yanko whipped up 99 1969 Chevelles bearing his name and other performance goodies. Again, we see a 427 under the hood, straight from the Copo Superstock Chevelle playbook, backed by a four-speed and a 12-bolt. Only 12 Yanko Chevelles were painted red, and you can learn all about this one from our episode number 49. Our number one Yanko car from the Brothers Collection is this amazing 1969 Yanko 427 Camaro that we presented in episode number 165 and it's one of only 10 1969 Yanko Camaros painted Olympic gold. It's a beautifully restored car with all the correct parts and it still runs hard today thanks to the signature 450 horsepower 427. Why there are only 10 painted this color? Well, we don't know, but we really dig it and you can see all the performance additions that make this Yanko Super Camaro special in Muscle Car of the Week episode number 165. Thanks for watching, and we're always happy to hear from viewers in comments or email. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Muscle Car Review.